Hardman Canada. Hello, I'm Hardman Canada, the guy with a mustache. I went to Michael Play to buy these two games, and he gave me a magazine with an interesting article. Microplay is a popular video game store in my region. The interesting article I, I read is called How do you define success for a game? A game with a commercial success means a game that sold millions of copies. Before I make a resume of the article, I'm going to cite my source to make sure we don't accuse me of plagiarism. It's on page 3 of the August edition of Michael Place magazine of the year 2012. Now this is what Stephanie, the author of this article, said. In an ideal world, all good game would be commercial success stories. Such is in the case for many excellent titles. Okami, released, uh, released on the PlayStation 2 in 2006, was critically acclaimed. But with about 600,000 copies sold, it was from a commercial standpoint the least successful game of that year. And then there is Psychonaut, which despite review praising it for its many inno innovative futures, saw only 100,000 takers. Psychonaut is listed in the book entitled 101 video game you must play before you die. Many good games with great review had a commercial failure. Games like Okami, Psychonaut, Beyond Good and Evil, Shenmue, Mad Road, and Grim and Fandago. And I must say, I agree with her. Because some of the best games I played in my life are, are on a game that's not very popular. I know. How do we say this is a red apple in Spanish? Conolingua Akaides. If you lie to me, I will beat you up. Here's an example of what the article talks about. Remember, you may not agree with me, and some of you will say, are you out of your mind? You can explain your disagreement on the comment section. Assassin's Creed sold millions of copies, but I prefer Valkyria Chronicles. New Super Mario Bros. sold millions of copies, but I prefer Gourmet. Sims sold millions of copies, but I prefer Trauma Center. Final Fantasy XIII sold millions of copies, but I prefer Tales of Grace. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 sold millions of copies, but I prefer Resistance 3. Sonic Colors sold millions of copies, but I prefer Mega Man ZX Advance. Grand Theft Auto 4 sold millions of copies, but I prefer Yakuza 4. But Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is better than both of them. Batman Arkham Asylum. Yeah. And this is Street Fighter the movie, the game. I don't like this game. Batman Arkham Asylum is better. It's better than Killer Instinct and it's better than Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And you know why? Because he's the Batman. That's why. No one can beat the Batman. Tetris sold millions of copies, but I prefer Puyo Puyo. Red Dead Redemption sold millions of copies, but I prefer Catherine. In your opinion, what does it take to make a successful game? 
write it down on the comment section. For me, a successful game is based on its quality and originality, not on its popularity or game sales. And if the game have a woman as a main character, she has to be beautiful enough to be considered my rival in a beauty contest. Don't underestimate a boldy guy with a mustache. Remember, it's quality over quantity. Now I must run away before Goro comes back. Oh no! Doko Lokoro! Goro told me what you did! You lied! I must punish you! That's what happened when you lied to Goro! Good work, Goro! My computer can see people's dream. I must analyze his mental health because he fought sheep men in Mega Man 10. This helmet is linked to my computer. Let's see. It's a catastrophe! He's crazy! I want to do a fatality on him! 